Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanaik from Encouragement from the Word of God. It's a beautiful, chilly uh, Monday morning and I want to encourage you with the Word of God. And yesterday for our Sunday service, we had pastor, one of our pastors in our church, talk about Revelation chapter 5 and she amazingly taught us Revelation chapter 5 and we're so excited that we are learning Revelation these days and God is revealing to his people his plan and that to tell us that we are people of hope so in Revelation chapter 5 we see that uh, that Jesus is portrayed as the the Redeemer the one who can redeem you and me and uh, are we prepared for his second coming? Are we prepared for his rapture? That he's going to come before the second coming to take his church, his beloved people to heaven. And then we will be coming with him for the second coming. And he will be putting his feet down in the Mount of Olives. So yesterday we learned Revelation chapter 5 and I want to tell a brief summary of what I learned and our pastor had a great wealth of knowledge and information and I hope that I can um, tell you a glimpse of it. So we can see that, uh, that uh, there uh, we see that John is in, uh, in heaven and John sees everything. John sees the throne of God, John saw the the four beautiful living creatures and we can see now John is seeing the there is a scroll and that uh, and it's an important scroll so usually people wrote things on scrolls those days they didn't have the books and the scroll had seven seals so usually if it's an important important document they would seal it but if it's really extremely important they would seal it seven times so um, John sees this seal that has on both side seals and then five seals on this side so altogether seven seals so it is a highly important document and that is a, a deed for the rightful ownership of earth and then there is they're wondering to see there's no one to open the seal there's no one worthy to open the seal and John starts to cry bitterly he cries bitterly because no one can be found to open the seal and the seal is the the rightful ownership for the earth that means Satan is going to be in captivity captivity Satan's going to captive uh, earth and there was there's going to be sin forever and there's going to be death forever there's going to be sadness and sorrow and there's it looks like a big problem and and someone has to open the scroll and get the deed to the earth so we we see that they're looking everywhere no one can be found who is worthy to open the seal and John uh, sobs and cries bitterly and then we can see that um, that um, he's crying because the earth is going to be cursed and earth was cursed because of Adam and Eve who sinned at first and because of sin it traveled to the whole generation of people and human and of the creation so because of that the earth is cursed and Satan has a hold on earth and when Jesus died on the cross his death his death redeemed everything and then we know that bondage of sin and Satan was broken because of Jesus' death on the cross so we know that he is a rightful heir so we can see the elder is telling elders are telling John don't cry John we found someone who's worthy we found someone who's worthy to open the seal, the seals on the scroll and then the, uh, the, the elder says it is the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, who has triumphed. So in Revelation chapter 5, let's read together that. That chapter, uh, verse five, um, chapter 5, verse 5. It says, Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then what John sees is the Lamb, the Lamb of God. He looks and he sees the Lamb, a slain Lamb but who's alive. And then he gets up and he is having hope because Jesus has triumphed. He realized the Lion, the tribe of Judah, it's 
lamb who was slain. It is Jesus Christ. And because of his death, because of his resurrection, because of his redemption, he can open. He is worthy to open the seal of the scroll. So we can see that John sees this lamb and that is Jesus Christ. And then John sees that we are people of hope. You and I, we are people of hope because when we worship, even though things around us, it is difficult. We worship focusing our eyes on the Lord because our focus is on heavenly perspective. We know that in the end, the story of the our ending, that Jesus has triumphed. The lion and the lamb, that is Jesus Christ, he has triumphed. So uh, we know that the lion of the tribe of Judah is Jesus because who he is. We are going to learn a few things of why we should give him the worship, why he is worthy, why the lion of the tribe of Judah is worthy because of who he is, because who Jesus is, because who the lion, who the lamb is, and because of who he is. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the lion symbols powerful majesty and kingly nature. And he is from the root of David. If you know the root of David, David is, uh, David's lion was the lion that Jesus was born. Even David sinned and even David's family, children sinned and grandchildren sinned. But the root, there was a shoot coming out and that was Jesus Christ of redemption, the root of David. And then even though the David's line was dead, but a root, a branch came and that is Jesus Christ. And then the lamb is slain even though Jesus is alive. Even though the lamb is slain, Jesus is alive. And he is the lion and the lamb. He is the conquering lion and the slain lamb. He is coming. He came with humility before as a baby, as an infant. And he died on the cross with humility. But he's coming again with power and authority like the lion of Judah. And he was crucified and he was like a criminal on the cross. But he's going to come again as a judge. He offered his life as a lamb. But he's going to come as a lion to judge the people of people of God, people of the earth, everyone. So I want to encourage you because we worship him because of who he is. And also we worship him because of where he is. You know that he's not in the cradle anymore. He's not in the crib anymore. He's not in the tomb anymore. And he definitely, he rose again from, the, from death. And now he's seated at the right hand of God our Father. He's on the throne. He's ruling. And he's inter interceding for us. He sees us and he tells our God our Father to have mercy on us. Because he has slain on the cross for you and me. And then uh, he is working for you. And he is making uh, something beautiful. He's making a, a place for us to stay. And he said he's coming again. And he's coming at the rapture where he's going to call our names so jesus said heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool he has control over earth and even though you feel that difficult situations are around and sickness is around satan is making havoc around you you know that satan is only on leash satan is not able to do anything that god doesn't allow him to do so he's pleading our case before our father and he's preparing a place for you and me and he says where you where he is we will be also you know that our citizenship is not on earth not in canada not in sri lanka not in any other country not in usa not in um uk not in any other country but our citizenship truly is in heaven so we worship him for who he is and we worship him for where he is and we worship him for what he does so we know what he does he takes the lamb of god takes the scroll and open the scrolls when he opens the scroll everyone starts worshiping he's gonna come back for us in the clouds and so he takes what is rightfully his jesus takes the scroll and he opens the seven seals 
and they all started singing worthy 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 thousands and ten thousands of angels and tribes and languages of different nations and all creations even the people creations in the sea they start to worship God so we're going to read that in Revelation chapter 5 where they start singing they are singing you are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals because you were slain and with your blood you purchase for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation you have made them to be the kingdom and priest to serve our God and they will reign on earth and they sing worthy worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever they started worshiping God day and night they start worshiping God and then what we can learn from here is that our troubles in our life is for a short time we will try and weep and we will be in misery with all these troubles that we have. But you and I, we are people of hope. If you knew Christ, if you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are a person of hope. And you can encourage your brothers and sisters around you. But if you are not someone who knows Jesus, I'm begging you, I'm asking you, I've received this free gift and I want to ask you to take the free gift. You're not going to lose anything. You're going to gain a lot. You're going to gain, gain eternal life. You're going to gain eternity with our God. So if you have never accepted Jesus, if you're hearing this today, ask Jesus to come into your heart and say, Jesus, forgive my sins. I want to turn back from my sins. Come into my heart. I want to learn about you. I want to have eternal life. I want to have, I want to, I know these struggles are difficult, but I know that I want to be a per person of hope because of you if you have never accepted Jesus contact me inbox me or send me a message or you can pray right now let's pray together father thank you Lord that you have you have touched people who is going to listen today and that you will touch their hearts if they have never accepted you God I pray that you would touch and soften their hearts and they would say Jesus I, I heard about you. I want to accept you into my heart to be my Savior, to be my Lord and my King. Lord, I believe you died on the cross for me, for my sin, for my shame, for my wrong, and that I can ask you for forgiveness, and that you will wash me and cleanse me and make me your child. Lord, I pray for anyone who already knows you, who already is a child of God. Help us to live with hope, Lord, with people like people of hope knowing that you're coming again and then the rapture is very soon and that when you come that we will be ready we would not be busy with the things of the world but Lord to have our eyes on you have our ears on you so when you call our names we will be ready Lord do not leave us behind but take us when you come in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen I hope you were blessed with this word. Just want to sing one worship song. It's called Worthy of It All. It's a beautiful worship song. All the saints and angels, they bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing, You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all, you are worthy, Lord Jesus, you are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things, you deserve the glory. Day and night, and night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, and night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, and night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, and night and day, let
hiding since the rise. I want to worship God and worshiping is starting from here on earth because we're going to worship day and night in heaven because He is worthy. He is worthy. So I hope that you have a wonderful week this week and I pray that you would talk to someone and tell someone, even encourage someone who is going through a difficult time and tell them that Jesus had paid it all for them and they are people of hope if they believe in Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. Bye. God bless you.